Greetings to all the members of my global home church and all the visitors. Uh, my third sermon this week, praise the Lord, I love um, spreading the word, the good news of Jesus Christ, the gospel, all that I can. Let me give everybody a little 411. I've done it in the past a few times. It seems like people have forgotten, and I have a lot of new friends and followers, so here's how it goes down with my sermons. Um, the Lord's led me on my ministries to just preach the word to you and to have you take what I give you, get your concordance out, go online and do a Google search, and check the Holy Bible yourself and read to see if what I say is accurate or not. You don't learn anything if I spoon, spoon feed you. A lot of pastors just spoon feed you stuff. That's not my calling. My calling is to give you the word and have you look it up <coughs> for yourself. That's the way it's going down so everybody understands. I've got some bad news for an awful lot of people in this sermon. Um, I was praying several days ago, talking to the Holy Spirit, and just my, my heart was grieved. The Holy Spirit within me was grieved because... I keep seeing all of these false pastors and false evangelists and false preachers and false watchmen, all these diviners uh, and just frauds all across YouTube and Facebook and on, on the, the television pulpits are full of them and, and the actual church pulpits are full of them, these preachers and, who are just vile vipers. And they lie to the flock. The Holy Spirit, I, I was just so grieved. I said, Holy Spirit, will you deal with these people? They're leading the masses straight to hell. They're leading the unsaved to hell because they don't trust them. They don't they don't like how they use foul language in their in their sermons, their broadcasts, and they don't like how they <coughs> uh, dress provocatively and talk trash. And uh, the babes in Christ don't have enough uh, roots in Jesus yet to be able to discern how dangerous they are. So they follow their uh, they follow the Pied Piper straight off the cliff. And the backsliders are the Holy Spirit's left their heart until they repent and come back to Jesus Christ. So they are tricked. The Holy Spirit just called me and said, I'll take care of all of them and all those that follow them in my time. Right now, just put the word out that I gave you to put out. So here's what the Holy Spirit gave me. First of all, he's not fooled by the frauds out there who are preaching in Jesus' name, who only want your money, who only want to, um, to get you to follow them for fame, who aren't even really Christians to begin with. He's not fooled by those. He is not fooled by those who are backsliders, who lie in Jesus' name, who have no idea what the Bible says, but just preach, j -j 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 talking, telling you lies, whatever they think you want to hear, that like the Bible says in the last days, the great apostasy, that preachers, people would just, would just flock to those who preach what their itching ears want to hear. And also, all the followers, all those who openly follow all of these false doctrine peddlers, because the Bible says... We can't serve two masters. We either serve God or Satan. We can't serve both. And we are supposed to be the light of the world. And the light cannot have fellowship with darkness. We're supposed to be the salt of the earth. If the salt has lost its savor, its, 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 its flavoring of the world, how in the world can we be good for anything but be trampled into the dust and plowed under? That's what Christians are doing right now. They're following these frauds. And that shows they're away from the light. That shows that they are in the darkness. And if they're following people who uh, are actually serving Satan, who purport to serve Jesus and see, then they're following Satan as well until they repent because all of us have access to the Holy Bible here in Obama land. I know a lot of places around the world you can't get a Bible, but in any country where a Bible is readily available or where the internet is readily available, you can get scripture unless they block the scripture out in your country. So there's no excuses to not be able to get online or pick up God's Word, read it online, read it out of the Word, listen to the Bible on tape, check it out of the library, and see what it says. And those who follow these false these false pastors, if you're following them and you end up in hell, believe me, your blood is going to be on their heads, but it's also going to be on your own hands because you did not follow God's Word. You decided to just listen to people who are popular. See, popularity is a very funny thing. People who are popular on YouTube are the ones who usually uh, get the most subscribers and the most views. Same as on Facebook, same as on Twitter. You can be popular as well to a point, like I am on my ministry, it's all for God's glory, nothing that I do, and still get a lot of people to watch, but it's still a small amount compared to what the frauds and the phonies and the charlatans who are peddling false doctrine get to watch and listen to them. And when the rapture happens any second of any day, Here's the way it's going to go down. Those who 
are unsaved are left behind automatically. All Christians who are backslidden are left behind automatically because the Bible says at least 250 times that I've found, I've got all that scripture, and it's also commentary that a child can understand, mess me for a copy of it, tells me, tells you, all of us, that if you don't repent of your sins after you're saved, you won't step foot into heaven. That's God's word. It's not Paul Kidd's word. It's God's word. If you're left behind, don't try to blame Paul Kidd because I've given you God's word. I've told you what the Bible says. You've had the opportunity to look it up for yourself. And you've heard the Holy Spirit's warning right out of the word of God. If you keep on following these false preachers, and if you're one of these false preachers and evangelists and teachers and whoever, whatever you call yourself, woe, woe, woe unto you, my friends. Because I'm convinced, first of all, I know there are different levels of hell, because the Bible says there are. And I'm convinced that the charlatan evangelists and preachers and teachers and watchmen who lead the flock astray have a special place reserved for them in the, in the worst regions of hell. I'm convinced of that. I've given you a warning. What you do with the warning is between you and the Lord. All I can do is lead you to the living water of Jesus Christ. I can't make you drink. But when you're left behind, God's going to tear this world to its foundation. Satan's going to take over for seven years of pure hell on earth. And if God didn't intervene, no flesh would survive, as it is about two-thirds of all humans will die the most grotesque, awful, terrible, horrific deaths. And that includes all the backsliders who are left behind if they don't get right with the Lord after they're left behind. If you can't do it now when the Holy Spirit is here to live in your heart, if you're living a pure, holy life, how are you going to do it when he's gone? When only a tiny remnant of him remains. Because he's the restraining and restraining evil. Keeping the evil from just tearing this world apart. Keeping Obama and Pope Francis from being the Antichrist and a false prophet, respectively. Being Satan incarnate after the imminent rapture. I've got a prayer. I put it in the box below to be the title. I also pray that prayer on my sermons. And there's six vital next steps as well. If you can't keep up with me, I know I talk fast. As soon as I'm done, you pray that prayer and do those steps because no one's guaranteed any more time in their life at all. Not another week, day, hour, minute, or second. So if you're unsaved or backslidden, pray that prayer with me right now before your time runs out. Let's pray. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day. I'm back to heaven and be at the right-hand side of the Father and make a place for all your children forever. Please forgive me my sins, wash my heart white as snow, come live in my heart, make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King, your precious name I ask it, amen. You pray that prayer, Jesus says, that all who come to me to ask shall be saved. If you want me to pray for you for anything, contact me and I will. True Christians, keep witnessing and praying. If they won't listen, it's for them and God. That's all we can do again is lead them to Him. And the Holy Spirit's not playing around. You can just think this is a joke. You can just keep on going about your sinful, wicked, evil ways. Phony pastors, evangelists, preachers, teachers, and all of your flock that follow you. Or you can hear and heed the Holy Spirit's warning through Paul Kidd, his slave, and change your lives now before you run out of time. Again, I've warned you. You've been warned. If you deal with the consequences, that's between you and God. I can do nothing else but warn you. I've already done that. True Christians, look up, my friends. Our different girl and I, we fly soon. And look for my Wednesday sermon and my Friday sermon. Praise the Lord. i got three sermons going on every week now. Tell all your friends. If they want to hear the real word of God from a real man of God who's a slave of Jesus Christ who gives God all the glory for everything he does, tune in to Doc Kidd's channel every Saturday, every Wednesday, and every Friday because I am going to break it down for you from God's word and give you what God's word says and teach you what God's word says, not what the charlatans do. And I challenge you, again, to look up every word that I say and verify it because if you don't do that, it's your own fault and there's no one to blame but yourselves. I pray that you all have a great blessed weekend and uh, share this video with everybody possibly can. You guys take care of yourself and I'll see you next time. Lord willing. Bye.